If you haven't, don't forget. Hit that button. Hit that button. Um, I don't know what to say really. Uh, I had a phone call at half five this morning. Uh, I had to go back round Dad's. Uh, Dad had collapsed on the floor. severe pain so um had to call an ambulance and poor poor sod's been taken to hospital uh he's got to have an operation i think so he's going to be out of action for a little while so yeah just me here now um just wonder how much more can go wrong in one year you really do What I mean by that is, I obviously haven't told anybody on YouTube or anything, but obviously Dad being ill, now in the hospital, that's one thing. I lost my 19 year old nephew in the beginning of November, lost him to blood cancer. Um, So with my nephew, he is diagnosed in, I think, June or July. I can't, I, I can't remember the exact things of what he's diagnosed with. I don't really want to go into too much detail on the internet, to be fair about it. But all I'm going to say is he died of blood cancer. Uh, he, like I say, he's diagnosed in July, and he unfortunately lost his battle with it beginning of November at the age of 19 had his whole life ahead of him life can be so cruel so so cruel before that I lost my sister-in-law in a car accident as well that was I think that was a year before so it was like family's going through quite a tough time at the minute and now dad's been rushed into hospital so it's like how much more can you take but he'll be back dad will be back fighting fighting strong I know he will He's a true warrior. So, yeah. Um, but enough of that. Let's just have all your prayers in that turn to make another steady recovery and come back as soon as he can. Alright, so what are we on today then? Well, can you tell we? Not we. What am I on? So I'm digging the rest of this horse track out. Uh, we've got half the sand in, so now we just wait for the other half to turn up. So while we wait for the other half to come in this week, we'll dig the other half of the racetrack out. Which, yeah, it's going alright. We're now on the bit that we made up. Let's sort of hold the sun. I thought the sides would collapse in. They're actually holding up fairly well. seeing Dad's digger sitting there, not moving. No, and he's in hospital. Right, we're still going. Obviously, 
Obviously now with what's going on with Dad being off, I'm going to have to go a little bit later at night just to try and keep ahead. Um, uh, update of my mother, my hospital is. He's got a problem with his got a problem with gold stone, with a stone being trapped or something, and he's got pancreatic something or other. He's got to go see the surgeons. Well, I'm sorry, the surgeons has come to see him. So he's being admitted now. Then the surgeon's going to come see him, and then I think he's going to theatre either tonight or tomorrow morning. So that means Dad will be out of action for four to six weeks. So now the pressure is on, I've got to just push, push, push now. Um, I just, I'm just praying that everything's going to go alright and yeah, it'll just be a routine operation. The stuff I'm digging out of the track, I can't to beside the track. It's not can't far, but I'm literally digging there and it's coming here. Then I'm leveling out here because there is like a two to three foot drop. So just making the bank a bit better. This is only a rough level out because there's another layer I've got going on top. Um, yeah, it's going all right. Haven't got to worry about packing it in because I've still got to dig that track out there. So the track will run over most of this and push it in and pack it. Um, just get this bit here done. And I think there's two poles the other side, get them done, so we're ready to kick off again in the morning. Now I'd like to say thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, and subscribed. Um, and yeah, just keep doing it, like I say, I'd like to be 500 subscribers by Christmas. But right, I'd like to say thank you to you all, um, take care. And uh, if you wouldn't mind praying for Dad, make get a speedy recovery and come out of this fight and fit. Every every prayer counts, it really does. So the right, we shall see you all on the next one. Take care, adios. Well, good morning everybody. Uh, thank you for coming back to the channel. Nearly finished digging the track out now. I've literally got I don't know three trailers worth of digging out to do. And then all the digging out is done by the trench in the centre. Um, I just want to get as much dug out as I can at the minute and then I'll drop onto the 8 tonner for obvious reasons as Dad's not here so uh, just an update on him really he's gone for his MRI scan and then he's got to have an operation so once he's had his op come round Hopefully we'll be able to get him home. Um, we shall see. Right, that's all the digging out done. I've now got to go on the eight tonner. Uh, start digging this trench out. So we'll crack on with that and get that done. And then tomorrow morning we're going to start stoning up and getting the pipe in. And then that means that the next half a day after that we can start sanding up and get this fairly wrapped up. Um, yeah, just a quick update on Dad, if I haven't already said, he's got to have an operation. Um, he's having his MRI scan this morning, and then after the MRI, I think they're then prepping him for surgery. So uh, I'm just praying that he makes a speedy recovery. Uh, I think they said he'll be out four to six weeks after surgery. So it'll be after Christmas before he's back. As you can tell from some of the previous video, if I put any in, I was rather sort of savage yesterday. Um, didn't really have a lot to say. It was, yeah. I haven't really got a lot to say today. I just thought I'd try and get some sort of video out there and keep the routine that I've got going, which is two to three videos a week. Um, I was like, it's scary seeing Dad getting rushed to hospital in that ambulance last night, uh, yesterday morning, sorry. I've never, never seen my dad in that much pain. Never. But right, I'm going to go start littling up. Park this one up for a little while, go start littling up. Uh, change the buckets over, put a foot bucket on and drop in there and start 
start digging this trench. Right, I shall see you all there in a minute. Hopefully she'll start. Not like the other morning where she struggled to. But right, see you in a second. Don't forget, thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Hit that doody doody button down there somewhere. Do well. Right, she started. So just let her warm up for a couple of minutes and then um, get on with some uh, trenching. Right, so as you can see, I'm on the eight tonner and this is all I'm doing now is just going along with a foot bucket, going a foot deep, putting a trench in for that centre drain. Lay that centre drain, then tomorrow morning we'll stone it all up. But this weather really needs to make its mind up. You look over there, it's as grey as grey. Yet you look behind me, big ball of fire in the sky so yeah but right i've got to try and find a decent camera angle for you here somewhere i don't know where but i'll find one hopefully you can hear me or see i think you can but right all it is is literally just digging it out chuck it in a pile and i'll come sort it out with the big and later be nothing special literally just a bit out of the bottom to lay that pipe and get a bit of stone in that's all we need to do i just spoke to me father on um on the phone Obviously he's still in hospital, uh, he's just had his MRI scan, or a scan, just waiting on results on that and then uh, go for surgery this afternoon. So hopefully we'll get him sorted and he'll be alright before Christmas. Fingers crossed. So it's perked me up a little bit, he sounds a bit better on the phone today, he's, he's still in pain, but he'll be alright. He's a warrior. probably can't see me but uh, pushed on a bit tonight uh, finally got finally got that trench all done I didn't get any video footage because you wouldn't have seen nothing all you'd have seen is like a blur of lights then a bucket um, the trench is all done in the center of the gallop so first thing tomorrow morning we're gonna get the pipe laid out I keep saying we I'm gonna get the pipe laid out then uh, the fast track's coming with a load of stone. I'm going to start stoning up. I'm hoping to get that pipe work in tomorrow and stoned up and start laying some sand tomorrow afternoon. Which, if that's the case, I'm getting ahead of myself now, which is good. Um, yeah. So, but no. Uh, just quick update on Dad. He is in surgery at the minute. Um, they're removing his gallbladder and they're uh, sorting out his pancreas as well he's got a problem with that
Um, but he went into surgery, I think around two, two o'clock time. I'm hoping we're gonna be hearing something soon. But I will keep everybody up to date on Dad. Uh, yeah, I'm just praying and praying. Everything's gonna be all right. I really am. I feel lost. I feel lost without my right hand man. Without my best mate. Really don't know what to do. But right, on that note, uh, all take care. Really take care and look after yourselves. Life's too short. So look after yourselves and uh, see you on the next one. Adios.